the board world, generally speaking, has been very homogenous. It tends to be predominantly people of a certain age, of a certain stature, um, predominantly male, and predominantly Euro-Americans. And a lot of times the boards of different organizations are making decisions that impact many different types of communities. And so it's not uncommon to find boards making decisions that impact communities that they may not necessarily have experience with culturally. And so that's one of the big gaps that ABLE fills. Um, ABLE is positioned to do a number of wonderful things, but the most important is the fact that by training African American professionals and then placing them on boards throughout California, what they're looking to do is to make sure that people who may not have traditionally been spoken up for in boardrooms get that representation. And not just African Americans, they're speaking up for all different types of cultures that may have been overlooked by boards that were predominantly Eurocentric before that. Um, one of the things that has been found in organizational culture studies is that diversity is key to coming up with new ideas and ensuring that organizations are functioning at their maximum capacity and ABLE does that. So they're bringing in professionals to work with organizations from a variety of different backgrounds professionally, um, many from the corporate sector, a number of attorneys, a number of people who have philanthropic backgrounds professionally already, um, people who are in the public sector, and they're bringing this infusion of talent into boards that may not have had such a vast array of people at their disposal before for selection. Um, as a nonprofit professional myself, I am aware that many organizations are often looking to diversify their boards, but they don't know how. I actually chair the nonprofit committee for the Culver City Chamber of Commerce currently, and one of the areas that our organizations talk about needing the most development in is in, um, in building their boards, but they don't necessarily know where to go to seek the diversity that they're looking for. And so ABLE's been wonderful for that because we've been able to get a number of organizations become member organizations who are now working at getting some of the qualified professionals placed on their boards. Um, so that's one of the biggest things. And through those board placements, the folks who are on the boards, the board members themselves, they are directly impacting the communities that the organization serves. And that's huge because you figure the volunteer work that you're doing with your organization, that trickles out into all aspects of the work that the people in the organizations are doing. So you're impacting um, a large number of people through whatever services you're providing, whether that's looking at who's getting direct services from the programs that you're involved in, to looking at who's uh, being represented on the commissions and making sure that there's f fair play on the commissions in California. Um, another important aspect of ABLE that I think is worth mentioning is the fact that ABLE is really positioned to become the predominant or the premier African American networking organization in California. With the number of people graduating from the ABLE Institute, that exponentially as it grows means that your circle of influence through who you are connected with through ABLE is going to continue to expand exponentially. And that's a wonderful aspect of um, whatever type of business you're in. So it's worth mentioning that the, the people who are alumni, we get to know each other, we try to be involved in what each other are doing to the best of our ability through the different networking events that ABLE provides. And that means that when I am looking to share information about what's going on in the organizations that I serve, I have this vast network of individuals to call upon. Um, so professionally, it's wonderful professional networking. For those of you who are considering um, going through the African American Board Leadership Institute's professional board training program, it's going to do a number of things for you. Number one, it's going to position you to be of the maximum benefit to an organization or a commission in a way where your voice and your advocacy is going to serve a number of people that otherwise you may not even be able to, you wouldn't even touch. Um, so the fact that you will have the 
experience and the training to make what could be a very large impact on people who may not have a voice otherwise is a tremendous benefit, a tremendous um, privilege. The other aspect of the African American Board Leadership Institute that's worth pointing out is this is a professional network of people that you will cultivate professional relationships with and those relationships will serve you in your professional career for as long as you continue to develop them. Um, and you'll be exposed to people in all different sectors, people who will be open to teaching you about their sectors, people who will be open to answering questions about areas that you may have been curious about and not otherwise had gateways into. So there, there's no downside. Um, the training that you get is high quality training. It's going to position you, even if you um, don't go onto a board right away, it's going to position you to think differently about whatever career you're currently in, particularly about how the systems and processes and organizational culture affect whoever it is you serve, whether that's customers, whether that's clients, or whether that's constituents.